And three, two. Hey, everybody. Beyond Do 89 here. What are we doing? <laughs> 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 what's up how you doing <laughs> well i thought we were recording but i mean if you want to do something else if see a movie else, maybe you should mention that um I'm a, I'm a streamer and i'm like oh yeah wait how am i going to do that now you know, <laughs> my, my now me from twitch and from other cool things like stuff <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, Beyond You 89 here. You know me from Twitch and YouTube where I'm making Coal Creek Park and my Demon from Six Flags Great America recreation series. I'm joined today with... My name is Shadow Phoenix. You guys know me from my Vista View Park that I started on a long time ago, as well as Crystal Gardens, Whitaker Lake, and generally I'm just on lots of YouTube videos and I'm on Twitch quite a bit. And we are also here with one other person who has done most, I would say most of the work really here. And that is HPK. How you guys doing? Uh, I frequent these two guys' Twitch channels and comment a lot on YouTube videos. There you go. And you have a nice <laughs> <new> workshop. <laughs> there we go. My workshop. Boom. So, um, but yeah, so welcome back to Luna Wood, everyone, where uh, this past week and a half, I, Beyond U89, had the park fair. So I went ahead and added in um, just one or two things. Didn't do a lot of work, right? I don't do a lot of work around here. I just kind of piggyback off of what you guys do and call it my own. So where are we starting? Oh, yes. So the first thing that I did today, or this week, I should say, was um, I went ahead and fenced in the boarding, uh, the daily boarding building. I kind of took this little green, well, what used to be just a green patch of field and kind of fenced it in with the idea that this was where they could let the dogs run a whole bunch if they needed to and kind of uh, go do their their business over here. So Also um, when yeah, they need to run away from the sandworms. The sand, yeah, the, the penis worm, or the uh, sandworms, uh, yes. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> it has to come up. But... Um, <laughs> There it is. <laughs> unintended? <laughs> Initially unintended, but now fully intended. So, <laughs> But uh, yeah, there's not too much to say about this. Um, a lot of why this kind of um, turned out the way it did well is because of the uh, brush action, the terrain brush action that um, I used. Kind of made uh, some natural trails with it. So um, yeah, not too much else to say about that. And it's the, a uh, great the... combination of the, the terrain brushes that you used here. Some brushes don't work well with each other, and some do. These two or three that you used here are really well blended. Not only that, the uh, the nature is very nature, too. Oh, got to nature it up, you know? Yeah. Well, yep, the fallen uh... tree branch just sitting there to trip over. Yeah. Right. Yep. I always, uh, you always see in nature that sometimes to make something look really pretty, you got to put in some dead stuff because that's just how it is, you know, out, out in IRL world. <laughs> yep. so, and you guys I can like... tell we've I've all watched the nature thing from, from, <laughs> the, from who? the what bros, the who's. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so moving on from there, if you go just, just north a little bit to the VIP section, uh, we won't stay on this too long here, but um, just put in some more trees. That's going to be a big theme with what I did was adding a lot more greenery in, but some trees, a nice little planter or a median down the middle, and um, some concrete curbing. Um, so yeah, not, nothing too uh, spectacular there. Don't understand that too much. Um, yeah. I think trees are going to be a, a big feature of the park, considering the name of the park is Luna Wood. So, right, yeah, and we uh, we were kind of trying to stumble upon that if it was going to be like a really big wooded park, or if it was going to kind of be more open. And I think we are kind of going towards more of a wooded uh, feel to the park as a whole. So, um, and I'm totally fine with that. I love wooded parks. You don't have to sweat your ass off all day. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, so to the left of that is our um, rehashed and redone guest service building or the backside of a guest service building here. So um, before it was a little bit uh, more in, um, so I kind of extended the building out towards the parking lot a little bit, took out the backstage stuff. So now you can um, go into guest services from the outside of the park. And uh, the reason for that is if you were to, um, what, like order your season pass online um, beforehand and uh, Instead of waiting in line, you can kind of go to the back side of guest services here, go inside, get your picture taken, and then go out into the park from this either single red door on the right-hand side um, that kind of spits you onto a path right next to the lockers, or I guess you can go up to the front where the welcome center and first aid are. So it's our big guest services building. I like it. Yeah, it totally came out great. I, I I really dig the the, uh, the fence along here, uh, with the uh, the hot dog squad and the pizza pen sign on it. And really, the ivy, really yeah, the ivy. Yeah, really on neat, it. neat touch, neat touch. Cheers, yeah, thanks. And um, that's another thing we're gonna try and do with in-game Planet Coaster advertising, and probably kind of sneak in some maybe real-world advertising. Is that when you look at parks, there's just signs for stuff every freaking where, like. There's just billboards and banners, and it's like, hey, buy me. No, buy me, but buy me, but especially buy me. So it's just like, I want to try to incorporate that into the park here for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I was looking at uh, Google Earth images the other day at parks, and I ended up at La Ronde in Canada, I think. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. at the top of their boomerang right at the front of the park, there is a gigantic billboard uh, on the supports. I think it. I think at the time it was for Mountain Dew or something. But it's oh, perfect! Billboard. At the time. <laughs> Not only is it holding up the roller coaster, but it's also making. Hey, money yeah, up. that's that's real estate right there. That they can hang some better make money off of it. So I guess if we move to the center plaza or fountain plaza area with our ticket booths, um, it's going to look a lot more green in this area, and that's basically because I added in these four ash trees around the fountain. Um, Added in these, what are these sycamore? Yeah, sycamore trees. Added these two sycamore trees behind the uh, ticket booths, as well as some more just bushes and nature stuff. Um, put in some more birch trees, and yeah, just overall, just added in a lot more trees and added in planters around kind of every single one of them. Even like the little birch trees, I put little like a cement block and then kind of fenced in with the metal black metal oh, yeah. fence. These little fences, they're so cute. So cute. <laughs> I got some bad news. I kind of changed them up a little bit. <laughs> no, change them back. No. Change them back. <laughs> Do it now, quick. These what little fences changed? with the little I, cement block on it. This, I like it. I like it so much. I, I just sunk the fences down a little bit, and instead of the cement block, I just put uh, a brown art shape, so it looks like dirt. I left the light in there and everything, though. Oh, interesting. So I it just. Looks I think I kind of like, like the concrete. Planner. Blocked. Yeah, but I'd have to see send it. Send us a picture later, but let's co compare and contrast. Because I did that, like, if you go to, like, a mall, like, and you go down a, like, like an open mall, and you're kind of walking around, there's concrete, and they have trees planted, like, into the concrete. This is kind of how it looks, where they kind of have, like, a little hole in the concrete, and the trees just, like, stick it in there. And that was kind of the feel I was going for. And if the but, tree was to get know. bigger, then, well, it's just screwed. Well, then the cement is SOL in like 10 years, so. <laughs> yeah. I've seen them use metal plates, right? Like, I've seen streets and stuff. Yeah. I've looked at, like, very, very detailed pictures of, like, Disney streets and up right. and down the corner, and there's, like, metal, like, metal grates, grates around over. it. Yeah. Uh, and it's, like, there's just a hole cut out in the middle, but it's just, like, you can see it's, like, almost looks like a manhole with a hole cut out in the middle for the tree right. to go yeah, through. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then um, I guess the only other thing to point out with this plaza, as of now, if you do go back to the bathrooms that Shadow, yeah, Shadow built um, in the parking lot, um, and you look straight down, um, that was my focal point for this build, basically. So I know we were kind of talking how we were kind of concerned if we put more trees in the plaza, it might block some views. But if anything, it almost gives a nice forced perspective as you look down walking into the park with all the trees around. And I'll tell you what, that, that tower looks great with all the greenery surrounding it. Exactly. It really well. It could have gone really well. uh, either one of two ways. And I think with the height of the trees, you get a nice forced perspective with it to kind of have that tower be still being the main um, 
you know, focal point for your guests. Yeah, like you, I was I was afraid that putting too many trees and stuff up front would like ruin the skyline or the the view, I should say. But it turned out so fantastic. Yeah, yeah, it it really gives it some uh, some different levels to the uh, plaza there. And um, also, I think you have your sound down there, but we also added in some music. And it being a regional park, we put in some of the more poppy techno uh, planet coaster music because top I mean, forty. Yep, exactly. <laughs> if we could, we'd have just like a top 40 radio station playing here um, throughout the We're going to rock ride. this town, but... rock it inside out. <laughs> <laughs> um, one thing I want to say, uh, I don't think we gave HP enough credit in the first video for everything that he did. These buildings are absolutely fantastic. And absolutely. He, he did almost all the work on all the buildings and stuff that you see. The bathrooms, the front entrance gates, the ticket booths, everything, the lockers. He did all of that pretty much himself. And, you know, even though we did alter them a little bit, not much. He had uh, the idea. The base was there. Yeah. And, again, I just want to say this is fantastic. And if, if it wasn't for HP, we probably wouldn't even be doing this series. He got us both no. together. <laughs> he got us so. all together to, to do this. So... So do make sure if you guys haven't already at this point in the video, click on the down below. There's a Steam Workshop link with HP stuff. And a lot of the stuff that's in this park is on his workshop. So make sure you're following him over there because he's going to be uploading a lot of this stuff on there as well as some other stuff that he's working on just by And himself. he's up to three subscribers now on Three YouTube. subscribers. <laughs> I had two last video. Whoa. Thank you. I think it was Bobby K. Bobby K. Thank Bobby you. Shout K. out. <laughs> there you go. So um awesome well i think that is not everything in the video but everything in the front plaza area that i goofed around with just real quick uh yeah. you guys are you know throwing me a little bit more love on these buildings i wanted to say this is the first time that i'm building to the archer or guest scale and i wasn't sure how it was going to come out but doing this park with you guys i knew i had to step up my game and uh, I, I'm I'm really happy with how everything that I've built. Hey, you got it, man. I mean, <laughs> I don't want to yeah. like I don't want to say that like tooting like my own horn or anything like that because I'm spectacular at this. But you know, from what you were saying, you went from building square buildings with just you know using in-game pieces what they were meant to be used for, you know, to doing the exact opposite of that. And I think that's what really makes people like um, elevate their building style is. You know not using everything as intended in this game you've really come a long way from there so yeah on you, mate. <laughs> oh and i just spotted something else that beyond has added here and he just walked out of the gates into the entry plaza here to entertain a, a crowd of people king freaking coaster <laughs> yeah no no, just... no 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 <laughs> <Well, laughs> yeah i finally had to add a staff to our uh our park here as I was building um, I added in a restaurant if you will I guess Segway <laughs> so it was hashtag trash Segway <laughs> right um, we'll talk oh, so about we're, this, we're going in now okay <laughs> we're in we're in all right uh, are we talking about the restaurant first or are we talking about oh, these things as soon as we enter maps, <laughs> 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 yeah, it's like we planned this <laughs> yeah, sorry. Let's talk about the maps here. Um, so, the maps, as you can see, there's a name underneath there. Uh, Bix in the Box, which I'm sure means Boy. something. Cut a hole in a box. <laughs> Put your junk in that box. <laughs> Make her open the box. Um, this was made <laughs> by that person. And uh, our idea... Yes, we're going to be making probably 95 to 99% of the things in the park. But if we find something or want to build something, we're like, you know what? I'm almost positive someone has built this better on the Steam Workshop than I than we could, uh, or whatever. Let's just do that. Let's just go ahead and take theirs and use it. It's not the biggest deal in the world. It gives us a couple hours and a lot of pain and mental anguish. Yeah. Right. I mean, why why remake the mouse trap? You know what I mean? It's or yeah. even the wheel, for example, you know, it's already been done. I, I like to think of the workshop. I, I'm kind of like mixed feelings about it. 
because it's kind of like, well, somebody else did and it's not really my work. But on the other hand, when you look back at like Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 with the mods and stuff, most of that stuff was done. It was made in SketchUp, most of it was, and added, and it would just be things that you would plop down to use. So the Steam Workshop is kind of like the mods that we had in Roller Coaster Tycoon right. 3. It was the stuff that we could use and plop down, just scenery objects and stuff like that that other people's done. And a lot of this is just like, you know, like we said, why reinvent something that's already been made better to begin with, and why waste our time? Like, you can only make a skee ball machine a certain amount of ways, you know? Exactly. Yeah. Yep. So, now, so basically, just to wrap it up, are we going to be like downloading blueprinted coasters and like large scale buildings? Heck no. We're building all that stuff. But maybe you know, one. <laughs> maybe one. <laughs> free, free the Bears. Uh... Intimid Megalite is. Oh well, that's a different all, story. <laughs> those are all clones, anyway. I mean, we've kicked around maybe using that. Maybe we do. Maybe we don't. Right, right. But for the most part, we're going to be using our own stuff. So, I think y'all understand where we're coming from with that. So. <laughs> yeah, those um, Intimid Megalites are kind of like boomerangs. They're only made one way. Yep, yeah, exactly. So if someone's already done it really well, free the bear. So I know it has been. Uh, might as well use it. So, yep. uh, I, I use it in Crystal the... Gardens. Oh, do you? Yep. Nice. Yep. Yeah. But past the maps, um, nothing different really there. I guess on the right side, uh, the lockers, uh, this isn't a huge change, but I moved the lockers back a little bit. Um, they used to be up past the guest service building even. Um, and that was just kind of like when you first walk in, if you're in guest view, it was really like in your face and um, right there. So I was like, let's move that back just a little bit. And um, that kind of ties in nicely with our ride here, which is the Enterprise Prize Prize. Hey, real so. quick, how many how many King Coasters are there? Uh, there should just be one. Oh wow, he's quick. He was just up in front, and now he's back here by the lockers. What? Well, I'm paying him two thousand dollars a month, so he better be. Quick as that. <laughs> well, he's got a pretty good crowd, so. <laughs> good. You work for it. All right, um, Enterprise. Okay. Enterprise. Uh, not a lot to say about it. It's really not that detailed, which, you know, it's going to be a reoccurring theme. Uh, pretty standard queue, uh, fenced in, you know, just a lot of bushes around. Um, pretty standard structure, just covering for shade. Uh, fenced in the Enterprise with custom, or not custom, but in-game fencing. Um, I guess the quote-unquote coolest part to me was I put in this little shack little backstage shack and it was apparently so well blended in that shadow didn't even notice it until hp pointed it out to him so and even then i had a hard time purpose. finding it <laughs> it really just kind of blended. that's kind of the whole point of it so that worked out well but um yeah no, again not too much to say about it it's pretty uh pretty standard pretty generic hey fun fact guys about the enterprise if you guys are interested is that these guys uh if you love them Get your rides in on them right now because they are no longer making parts for these things. So when they break down, you can't get the parts anymore. A lot of parks so are sad. going to be getting rid of them. Um, I know Kentucky Kingdom is got rid of theirs this year. Uh, there is good news though. Hus is replacing them. We're not like going to each park and be like, hey, here's a replacement. But they have a replacement available of a newer version of it that is a little more... A little more uh, modern, I guess you could call updated. it. Like, yeah, it's an updated okay. version, a little more modern looking. Uses less pieces. It's not as, uh, not as more. I guess you could see through it more. You know what I mean? Like, it, it has not, less, not as, not less as supports. Okay. Yeah, not Is as bulky. Same idea for the whole thing, just kind of updated. Uh huh. In fact, some of them you can even get them to where they will not only will they go like at the ninety degree angle, but it will actually tilt up. And it looks like a giant T, so the thing is rotating on top of it as it's in the air as well. Ooh, oh, that's, that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's it's pretty neat. So most parks are going to be phasing these things out within the next few years. So you guys love the Enterprise. I know I, I've never ridden one because Kings Island got rid of theirs before I actually decided I wanted to do anything with a loop. Yeah, it, they they are phasing these out, so get your rides in on them, guys. I will have to, well, I already plan on visiting Great America this summer since I'm back in town, but I will have to get a ride in because that is technically my first upside-down attraction. 
uh, make sure you go on at night so you get the light dark light. Yes, dark, light dark, lighting dark. is the best. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. All right. Well, um, I don't know if we want to say anything else about the enterprise area here, but if not, we can kind of move to the what I like to call the big green box in the middle of the. Oh, real quick, real quick. Yeah. Uh, right at the corner there, where the path kind of forks, you got the. I want to say that's real nice touch with the double fence and that they uh, the signage there on top of the, the little pedestal. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, nice, was, nice touch. Thank you. That was actually inspiration from again walking around real parks. Um, and actually, not just parks. It's just kind of a general. They usually have like a quote unquote like maintenance fence um, that's like supposed to be the real fence that blocks people from going areas. And then in the front, you'll kind of have a decorative fence that is supposed to be the attention grabber. So that's the idea um, between that. Double fences to keep people out is always a great idea. Sometimes even more than that, because as we all know, people don't pay attention to a fence that says <laughs> stay out. But... Realism. Realism. <laughs> um, but yeah, to the left, we can look at our big green box. Put and facade in front of me for a stage show. Yes, so that is the idea here is that um, to cap off our plaza here and start to transition, we want to put an indoor um, stage show. So, you know, the shows that run at, you know, come back at three and then four and then five. So, um, yeah, and the HP said he had a really good idea for a facade for it. And we're going to let him run with it. We don't really know anything more than that. He's being very secretive. So, screw him. I mean, can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> they they have a general idea. Don't let them fool you. But, <laughs> yeah, for the most part, I'm keeping it hush-hush, playing my cards, cards close to the vest. Sure. So, but if it's anything, you know, that you, like you have built, I have full faith it's going to look awesome, so. Yeah, so I'm really is... starting to see kind of <clears throat> a lot of the – how things are coming together and how things are going to look and kind of a not really a theme of the park but like an overall color scheme i guess yeah. things are a scheme and kind of a i know this is a very general word but a feel for the place you know you exactly. kind of get a feel as you go through a, an entire there's definitely like we said in the first video um there's going to be different themed areas like we have action zone and like our general 2000s themed area and then... 70s action adventure right but, Not action adventure, American adventure. Yeah, adventure. American adventure. Like a um, very generic. Like within those established themes, there's going to still be the feel of the overall park, which we won't lose sight of, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so, um, and I love the fact that we're using a lot of trees and stuff. A lot of trees really makes it feel like it is that regional park. Like I feel like if this had been handed off to like – Six Flags or Cedar Fair, it would be more concrete. Like these trees, oh, get rid of them. We can put some right. you know, signs there. Food stand. <laughs> yeah, you know. But a lot of trees and stuff, it really makes it feel more regional. Like, like my favorite park has always been Kings Island, but the Kings Island in the old days, before it was bought by Paramount and then Cedar Fair coming in and took it over, you know, it was it had a lot of very beautiful areas, very, very shady and just very well done. It was a large park, but it was, you could feel like they- it was secluded though, in like areas. Yeah, and secluded, like and you could feel that they actually loved the park enough, that they, right. you know, they, right. they put beauty into it, and that was And great. that's kind of the idea behind this front entrance plaza. Maybe in the you notice that the trees are tall, grown out, all of these planters and beds are full of full grown and developed mature areas. But as we keep going in the back of the park, like the 2000s area or even like the 80s area and stuff like that, we can start to do that where it's like the park is maybe like, oh, we need cash. Throw in the boomerang, throw in a corkscrew and put a bunch of cement down um, so you can kind of get the feel for different areas and different time periods throughout the park as well um, based on the foliage and how well developed it is. I just thought of something the uh, the, the entrance plaza is missing, the inside of the park plaza. The uh, the jerk 
that as you walk by, they're like, pose for a picture, pose for a picture. You want a picture? I know. I was picture. about to do that, actually. <laughs> but yeah, Come we told and let us take guy. a picture. It only costs $10 for a picture. Wait. <laughs> right. I could do it for free with my phone, but you For my digital it. camera. <laughs> yeah. like, what? Man, I don't know if you guys are old enough to remember or not, but do you remember the little keyhole things that you would get with the pictures in them? Like when you got your picture taken on a coaster, you could have it put into a, like a little square, tiny little box you could carry around like on a key ring. And you would look through a little hole in it, and your yes. picture would be inside of it. Yes, oh, uh, no, I never heard of that. <laughs> that's great. Yes, I remember that. That's that's like an '80s thing. Yeah, that that's my years as a poster enthusiast. <laughs> I'm old hey, school, guys. Old. You should know that. I was an '80s kid. Okay, born in 1989 in September, so I. Sn <laughs> Dude, I was born in '75. <laughs> I was born woof. in '84. Double wolf. <laughs> I was at Kings Island back when Anna Barbera stuff was still there, and <laughs> Fred Flint. You know, it wasn't a guy with a camera meeting. It was Fred Flintstone and like George Jetson, his wife, their daughter Judy, <laughs> <laughs> and their dog Joe. <laughs> yeah. So, um, cool. Well, from there, if we go left a little bit more, um, there's this little. I don't know what you want to call it, island of trees and rocks, you know, nothing, just a little filler there. And then we kind of come over. I to, dig it. I dig that little It's just color. a nice little filler. The little know, red fence, fence is perfect. It, it's just like the small little details that, you know, like the just the fencing and stuff, sometimes you just don't think about those things. And when you do think of it, it's just like trying to find the right colors to match it all and everything. Right. The red and is a perfect these, color uh, here. All these colors, like the red is the same brick house, which... I guess transition into brick house here. Brick house. It's my nightmare. Which is our um, pizza shop, I guess. Kind of pizza, beer, uh, just a just a restaurant. It's it's a uh, it's a little sit down, or it can be quick service restaurant. Um, but the fencing is the same color as the brick house, and the white is this, um, fence is the same white as the uh, signage as brick house. So all the colors mesh well together here, and. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say about Brick House. Brick House! Um, if you go around it looks like a box to me, but you guys love it, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be. It's a, it's a brick, you know, it's just a box yeah, deep I, brick I, kind I, of yeah. warehouse. So I box, get it. It's a pizza. I get it, but I don't know. I still kind of want to, I want to, I want to touch it. Would you like to touch my monkey? I will touch him. Touch him. Love him. Leave up on the abs, Rinky. <laughs> I want to fix it. <laughs> Trying to appease Shadow a little bit, um, I added on this back uh, glass canopy, I guess, area where you can kind of do some outdoor seating. I know it's still a square technically, but it's supposed to kind of break up the boxiness of it. Oh, that's, um, you know, this I dig. It's a dig. So this idea here is that it looks a little bit, to me at least, it looks a little bit different than the main building. And my idea was that um, maybe in like the 2000s or something, uh, maybe they were starting to add on little expansions. You know, you know how parks will do that. If they're not doing like a major expansion, they'll still go through and do some TLC and little light upgrades to some of their pre-existing buildings and attractions. So that was the idea here that um, maybe it looks a little bit different, a little bit more modern because they went back in in the 2000s or later and kind of added in this outdoor um, canopy seating area there. Man, our janitors need to get to work. Every table underneath of here has food on it. It's trash Probably on it. Probably doesn't help that the entire park has two trash bins, and they're both right next to the outdoor seating area, and they're probably both full. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't added in. No, they're That's not even full. He's just he – yeah. <laughs> looks like he's emptying the trash, but he's not cleaning off the tables. Well, are we he's paying him $2,000 too? We are indeed. <laughs> he's as good as fired right so um but also a little that, piece of the um, block back here missing as well in the back so oh yeah there's gonna definitely be some stuff that i missed like i said that I, I had a lot of ideas and then i kind of just like would start an idea like the chair swing that's an example of that where i kind of threw down the chair swing purposely in that area because if you're looking down towards brick house brick house from the main plaza towards the chair swing it lines up perfectly in the middle of the pathway Yes, it does. Um, so that was placed purposely, but as HP noted, like he's like, your cue is kind of weird. I'm like, it should look weird because I literally slapped that puppy down in five seconds. So, <laughs> um, 
But yeah, there's a lot of stuff that you're going to notice. It was kind of half-assed. Um, it was kind of done quick. Um, not that I tried to, like, rush through everything this week, but as you guys know and others, like, I just started work finally, and I've been busy as hell, so I'm glad I was able to get anything done, <laughs> basically. Um, yeah, the colors on the chair swing are not something I would actually choose myself, but I will say, with our park, it blends great. Like It did, yeah. It was kind of are, a classic. Are those a... Are those the default colors, or yeah, they're the default classic um, colors for it. Oh, okay. I, New I don't point. Have a problem with the colors. <laughs> no, I, I don't the either. Yellow um, is typically a white instead, but that red is um, the default red that kind of comes with it. Yeah, see, like one of the first things I usually do is like change the colors on this, and then I always, always have trouble trying to find good colors for it. And these uh, aren't a combination that I would normally choose, but here it works. It does. Works great. It, it, it gives it, um, I don't want to say that we're going to like have a completely rustic feeling, like Silver Dolly, Dolly Dollywood kind of feeling park, but I think we're going to be... Silver Dollywood? Silver Dollywood. <laughs> um, I think we're going to be constantly kind of like getting close to being like those kind of parks, but not being full on like a rustic mining style park, if that makes sense. So um, our colors can kind of reflect as these like dark reds and browns and whites, so... You guys ever notice the images that are on the top of the chair swing? I have. Yeah, yeah. I've they're, they're... Never noticed them. I'm just. Like, oh really? Yeah, they're all. The they're very Disney esque. Yeah, they are very Disney esque. So the castle with the roller coaster, and then the there's the pirate. witch's hut up on the. Yeah, uh, yeah. Wit they're all the yeah, witch's hut. I never noticed them. Never noticed. Them. I've looked very, very, very closely at that one because that's another one of my favorite little flat rides in the game. I love it. <laughs> so, cool. Well, I mean, overall, that is... I think what, I what about this little, uh, this awesome looking little mining cart that you did right here in the center? Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, that was just, uh, I had this little patch open and I was like, well, I could stick a tree right there, but that's going to block a lot of viewpoints so it's like you know what we just need a thing there and the mining cart fit and oh my gosh my cats just went crazy um <laughs> i don't know if you can hear that but um but yeah no the mining cart kind of worked and i've done this in coal creek park and other parks where you kind of put a flower bed inside the mining cart and it just always looks so cute yeah see like if it was me i mean subliminally or you know unconsciously i'm always thinking all right for to fill in spots i should put in like weird little like statues and stuff and or like kind of like what you did here with like this mining cart just right. oddball things little but then when i'm actually building it's just like i just could put a bush or something there and <laughs> I know, it, it's i was trying i thought of that too because I, I i did want to put some sort of um focal point right here and the mining cart wasn't even my first choice but it just fit the most and um but yeah it's hard to kind of chop it up where you know do i put a fountain here or do i just keep putting more foliage um i, I think had that. everybody yeah. just pretty much goes for like bush tree fountain you know nobody really thinks right. about doing stuff like this and this is really what makes the details in the park i love this yeah and again this was i didn't like straight up rip this off anywhere but that like you said you notice this in real parks and all three of us, since we're doing this build, have been living on Google Earth or Google Maps, basically. And you notice these things in regional parks everywhere. Like the little details in regional parks are actually a lot more than I think people really consciously remember. Um, when you go and look at different areas in these kind of parks, there's just so many little like mine carts or trinkets or designs. And um, I think that's really what makes it feel like a local park. The, the Catawampus park. at Knott's Prairie Farm. Yeah, exactly. Stuff like that. Like, you know, it's like, it's, I don't want to say stupid little things, but it is just stupid little things that make it a park like that. Little so. singing mushrooms or something. <laughs> right. I don't even oh, know man. what park that is, but there's a park that has these little singing mushrooms. Uh, and there's like some frogs or something somewhere. There's one park that has a giant like whale. Like, I guess it's supposed to be Moby Dick from Pinocchio or something that you can walk into. Oh, uh, Disneyland. Uh, they have the... Uh, no, it's that. a smaller park. It's like a... Oh, okay, okay. Small park. It's it's It looks like it's a horrible looking, like, Moby Dick, but... <laughs> <laughs> um. So, yeah, I guess, do you guys have any other comments or questions on anything I did? Because... Uh, I'm good. But before we get off, and I don't... Oh, if we were ending or not 
<laughs> he said, get off. I just wanted to say, uh, you want to go take a look at that boomerang? Oh, I did. Yeah, I kind of just uh, slapped the boomerang over here. It's all HP right here. Um, well, it wasn't all me. Uh, I, I, I tried building some custom supports for a boomerang and uh, had no avail. Uh, so I went on to the workshop and I found the lame rang by Emax Magnus. I think I'm saying that right. And the, uh, the supports that are green or teal are the ones that he built. Uh, I kind of repositioned them because I didn't use his layout of the coaster. I kind of rebuilt the coaster and just put his supports to it. And then the lift supports, which is what I was trying to build, uh, those were made by Silent Member. Thank you to both of you guys. Cheers, uh, yeah. And I, I don't think that's, um, like I said, I kind of, this coaster was in the back of the park, so we're starting to have a little boneyard um, back there. And I, I just wanted to put it near the front here, just kind of have some, when I was taking pictures and sending it to the guys, just kind of starting to get an idea that, you know, maybe we could put a coaster here, but it doesn't have to be in the exact spot. And um, HP, I think you were saying that you kind of dug on it right there. You just want to flip it around. Um, yeah, that's, I'm going to do, that's going to be what I'm going to build around in uh, my build week or two or whatever it's going to be coming so, up here. And speaking of that, do you want to kind of touch on maybe some general ideas, what you're going to be getting done or wanting to get done for your build week? Yeah, so we had talked about doing an 80s style, we even mentioned it before, an action zone. And that's what I'm going to be doing. A little bit of like black tarmac with uh, arcades. I'm going to use Shadows Arcades and a few other ones that I found on the workshop. And when I get it built, we do the video. Uh, if I use your stuff, we'll we'll give you a shout out. Uh, some uh, some rides from that era. It's all going to be really flashy and uh, a lot of bright lights and neons and it's the eighties. Stone wash right. jeans, you know that kind of stuff. Right. <laughs> Mohawks. Yeah. <Heck> yeah. <laughs> Studded leather jackets. Oh, I forgot. Speaking of lighting, I, I lit up the place too. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. How did we forget about that? Because <laughs> I, I always forget about lighting regardless, so I'm surprised I remembered this time. But yeah, I did kind of try and light it up. All right, for... lights off. There we go. Look at that. So you go. Um, I mean, not too much again, really, to talk about with. In under building lights, the, uh, what are these called? The colorable area lights just kind of sunk down underneath. Um, a lot of places, and uh, yeah, came out nice. Looks beautiful at night. It does. They really, and when the Enterprise is and is lighting up, it, it really starts to. Uh, you, you're starting to get a cool feel for this little entrance plaza with the music going, the lights on, the rides uh, going as well. It's starting to feel like a park almost. It's like we're building a theme park. Oh, or something. the buses you know, have tail lights, like brake lights do. that are on. Yes, and they shine on the ground. Can turn them off. Awesome. Can you? All right, guys. So I think that's been enough of us for, for right now. Uh, I got the park for the next week, and uh, we'll check back with you guys then. I'm HPK. I'm um, Beyond 89 My name is Shadow Phoenix. You guys will be able to check the next episode, episode three of Luna Soup. Luna Wood will be on my channel in probably another two weeks or so. So until then... Adios, everybody. Thanks for joining us.